this is dr madhuri from team mds konka let's have a short discussion on anti malarial drugs so this is a pictorial representation of life cycle of malarial parasite first this malarial parasite enters into the liver where it has a pre erythrocytic stage and this pre erythrocytic stage is the primary developmental stage where it is responsible for the cause of malaria then from here it enters into the rbc where it can go into a erythrocytic stage then afterward it releases the gametes which are carried out from our blood vessel by female anopheles mosquito which is responsible for transmission of malaria then this gametes will form a zygote undergoes maturation and release the sporozoites and again this sporozoite will enter into the blood vessel from blood vessel into the liver so this is the life cycle and here you can see an other stage that is exoerythrocytic stage in this stage this kizons will remain dormant in the liver so this is the life cycle and this is very important point that is exoerythrocytic stage is absent in plasmodium falciparum hence we there are no relapses in the plasmodium falciparum this is the classification of drugs based on the life cycle they are primary tissue schizonticides where they will kill the schizons in the liver and mostly used for casual prophylaxis and here the mnemonic is p3 that is proguanil primaquin and pyrimethamine the second category is erythrocytic schizonticides where they will kill schizons in the blood and mostly used for clinical cure and suppressive prophylaxis and these are divided into fast acting erythrocytic schizonticides and slow acting and these these drugs are the fast acting schizonticides and these are the slow acting schizonticides then if you go into the exoerythrocytic schizonticides they will kill exoerythrocytic forms and used for the radical cure and here the example thing is primaquin whereas if you go into the sporonticides or gametocytes they will kill the gametes and prevent the transmission these are only for plasmodium vivax or plus plasmodium vivax plus plasmodium falciparum so for plasmodium vivax it is chloroquine mepacrin and quinine whereas for plasmodium vivax and plasmodium falciparum combined the drugs are proguanil py pyrimethamine primaquin and artemisinin so coming to the most important drug that is chloroquine this chloroquine will have a largest volume distribution and it also prevents polymerization of heme to hemozoin this is the drug of choice for non falciparum malaria and also chloroquine sensitive plasmodium falciparum and this is a erythrocytic schizonticide and uses you can remember the mnemonic red lip mahatma gandhi that is r for rheumatoid arthritis e for extra intestinal amebiasis d for discoid lupus erythematosus l for lepra reaction i for infectious mononucleosis p for photogenic reactions m for malaria and g for giardiasis so these are the uses of chloroquine and if you go into the drug of choice this is very safe drug to be used in a pregnant women and adverse effects includes peripheral neuropathy hypotension myocardial depression toxic psychosis and this is very important that is bulls eye maculopathy which is caused because of prolonged usage of this chloroquine and this is nothing but blindness due to retinal damage then coming to the quinine this quinine is the drug of choice for chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum and this uh quinine plus doxycycline or clindamycin will make decrease in the duration that means it will reduce the duration of the therapy when they are combined and this is also a safe drug to be used in pregnancy adverse effects include hypoglycemia hence hypoglycemia is caused we have to make the patient to take 5% that means we we have to give give iv this 5% dextrose when we are giving the quinine then gi distress vertigo and blurred vision and it it can also causes hemolysis in g6pd deficiency patients then coming to the mefloquine this mefloquine is also used in the chloroquine resistant falciparum malaria and this can be used both for treatment and also for the 
prophylaxis and mostly affect as a single dose. Adverse effects include cardiac disturbances, psychosis and seizures. And this you have to remember that mefloquine when used with halofantrine or quinine will causes the prolongation of QT interval. Hence it is not suggested to be used. Then coming to the primaquine. This primaquine will form the redox compounds and this has many uses that means it is used as a pre-erythrocytic schizonticide, exoerythrocytic schizonticide and gametocyte and used in the radical cure and this cannot be used in the pregnancy and it can causes myth, myth hemoglobinemia and hemolysis in G6PD deficiency patients. And you can remember in the life cycle that this plasmodium falciparum will have no exoerythrocytic stage. Hence, this primaquine has no role in this falciparum malaria or a radical cure. And then coming to antifolate drugs. There are four antifolate drugs, pyrimethamine, progvanil, sulfadoxin and dapsun. This pro progvanil is a prodrug and this Cyclovanil is an active drug and this pyrimethamine and proguanil both will inhibit the DHF RAs whereas sulfadoxin plus pyrimethamine causes sequential blockade. So these are the slow acting blood schizonticides and when you combine this proguanil with atovaquone this will have an effect that means it can be used both in treatment and also chemo prophylaxis for chloroquine resistant malaria. Then coming to the other drug atovaquone, here it is rapidly acting blood schizonticide and because, and because of this it causes collapse of the parasite's membrane. Other than this malaria, it can be used in nemocystis, pneumonia and also used in toxoplasma infections. Coming to the artemisinin derivatives, the, these are the derivatives that is artemisinin, dihydroartemisinin, artisunate, artimether and artiether. And in, this, in these derivatives, this artisunate will have a short half-life. And these all the drugs will be obtained from a Chinese herb which is called as artemisia annua. And these are the fastest acting drugs and highly active free radicals and can be used in very serious forms of malaria like cerebral malaria and also multi-drug resistant malaria and these are not used in a chemo prophylaxis because it may causes QT prolong prolongation on ECG. Then coming to halofantrine, this halofantrine has a erratic oral bioavailability and it can causes cardiotoxicity and this cardiotoxicity can be increased when you use with mefloquine and hence it cannot be used in the chemo prophylaxis and it also has a multi-drug resistant malarial usage then when you come to the lumifantrine it this can be always used with the rt meter and this absorption of this lumifantrine increases with fatty food and these are the list of fast acting erythrocytic schizonticidal drugs they are given by mnemonic mac har that is mefloquine atovaquone chloroquine halofantrine artemisinins res that is quinine so that's all guys these are the very very important points regarding anti malarial drugs and stay tuned for more videos love learning with mds conquer thank you